What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are out here in Daytona. Uh, as you can see, we have the nice beach behind us. We got the city. We got the river. We got a nice little prime location. So we're gonna go out to the car show today. It's one of the biggest events that they have in Florida every year, where hundreds and thousands of cars come out to showcase their builds, uh, to buy parts because it's like a swap meet at the same time and they got like carnival food. So we decided to come to Daytona and check it out. We're bringing you guys along with us, so stay tuned. All right, so we're currently going downstairs to the garage to be able to pick up our car so we can start going out to the event. I'm gonna show you guys all over the street. There's cars, like souped up cars everywhere, muscle cars, imports, a little bit of everything. And check out this view. Wow. So a little update. We gotta go back to the room because Mari forgot her sweater. A few moments later. So we just got to the event right now. We're actually getting into the parking lot. So nice little tip. If you come out to the event, if you're gonna spend all three days at the event, you're better off going through the car show entrance. They give you a nice little sticker. I'll show you right here. Put a nice little sticker on your window, window and then you're part of the show for all three days of the event. Because if you get the regular pass, then you gotta pay $21 per person per day compared to the show pass which is $80 per car everybody in the car and you have access all three days so just a little tip in case you guys decide to come
guys. So we're out of the show. We're on our way back home now. Uh, pretty much key takeaways. If you come out to the show, to the event, do a car show parking. Even though you don't have a car to enter the car show, it's going to be a lot cheaper going the route of the car show parking because you have access all three days for a cheaper rate because you're not paying per person, you're just paying for the car for access for all three days. Um, if you like carnival food, it's fine. It is pretty expensive in there. I mean, in between a pretzel and like two drinks or something, we paid almost close to 30 bucks. So it is kind of pricey in there. So a lot of people just tend to bring sandwiches and drinks and stuff in a little cooler. Uh, snacks, just so you can get uh, around on the day and not spend a lot of money on food. Uh, beer is pretty cheap, considerable compared to the other prices. You're paying about seven, five to seven bucks, depending on which stands you stop at. But overall, the experience is great. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. What's your favorite vehicle? And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.